Howdy, I'm Dennis Sigler. I'm the State Extension Horse Specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. This is a series of training videos and we're going to start with ta talking about starting the young horse in the round pen, ground driving and groundwork, and then we're going to progress all the way through to advanced performance maneuvers. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this young horse, we're going to put him in the round pen and we're going to teach them how to go forward. We're going to teach them how to move around the round pen. Hopefully we'll teach them how to stop and turn. And then we're going to progress from there in, in uh, doing some groundwork on this young horse. So I'm going to take her out here and put her out on the outside of the round pen and move her forward. If I have to encourage her to go forward with the, the lunge whip, I'm not going to actually use the whip. I'm just going to encourage her to keep going forward. One of the first things that we've got to teach a young horse when we get on their back even is to go forward. We cannot teach collection. We can't teach any of the performance maneuvers that we might want to teach this horse later on without having some forward motion. So we're gonna just get this horse going around the round pin, keep them go forward, make sure they're going forward when we tell them to and that they're not stopping when we don't want them to stop. So we're gonna let her go around here just a little bit and then I'm gonna step in front of her and ask her to stop and I'm gonna reinforce, reinforce my stop cue, which is the word whoa. So I want to teach these horses to respond to that cue from the very beginning. Whoa, whoa. Good girl. Now we'll go the other way. Get her going forward again. And we're going to test out our stop command, which once again is the word whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm going to give her a chance to stop. And if she doesn't, then I'm going to step in front of her and use a little bit more firm command. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. When I ask her to stop, I really want her to stop and stand there and not just keep walking off. So I wasn't going to go up and catch her until she stood perfectly still. Horses have to learn from the very beginning that the, the command whoa means to stop and stay there until I ask them to go forward again. Okay, the next, and we may do that for several days before we progress to the next step. The next step that we're gonna go to is to teach this horse to stand while we're saddling, while we're sacking them out. And not, uh, this is not consistent with all, with all trainers, but I like to hobble my horses uh, when they're young so that they learn to stand still and so that they also learn to keep their feet still in case they get tangled up in the wire or uh, in, in tangled up in uh, some kind of a hazard. So uh, on young, very young horses that have never been hobbled before, I usually use this soft cotton rope as a hobble because it's, 
Im nearly impossible for a horse to hurt themselves with this kind of a hobble. So we put it on in this fashion, one loop around the leg, and then we, we put this knot through this loop and we hobble them. For horses that have been hobbled before, I use a, a nylon hobble such as this. And we're going to try this on her today. Going to get her standing still. Whoa. And then we're just going to let her figure this out on her own. She's been hobbled before, so she's a little bit reluctant to move. I'm just going to pull her a little bit to let her know that she is hobbled. And a, a young horse, the first time we hobble them, they may uh, resist a little bit, but once they figure this out, I really like what this does for them. Then we can start sacking the horse out. Start getting them used to having things flopped around on their back. And I'm going to get pretty aggressive with this sacking process. Okay, I want them to know that they've got to stand still the whole time that I'm saddling. Whoa. The first time that I bring my saddle over here, I want to show it to them, let them know it's not something that's going to hurt them. And then I'm going to try to put this down as gently as I can the first time on their back. Whoa. Whoa. Always reinforcing my whoa cue. The first time that I saddle a young horse, I want to be ready just in case they blow up. So I'm going to pull this snug and gradually tighten it just a little bit at a time but I do want to make sure that I get it tight enough so that if this horse blows up and starts bucking that my saddle is on good enough that it's not going to get slide around and get underneath the horse. If I'm going to use a back cinch on my horses later on I'm going to go ahead and put my back cinch on from the very beginning. I'm not going to put it up tight at first because I don't want them to blow up and have that back cinch grab them and scare them and then I'm going to let them stand here for a while with the saddle on
And once again, I'm going to go through the sacking process of just getting them used to things flopping around. Now this, this is something that I would probably do for the first time. I would do this for several days before I would even think about getting on this horse or going to the next step. I want them to get used to this saddle. I want them to not be afraid of the saddle. And then the next thing that we've got to do now is take the, the hobbles off and let this horse move around with the saddle on. So this is, uh, this is a critical step in the training process because a lot of horses will stand here and be perfectly calm as long as they're hobbled. And we've got the saddle on now and now we've got to get the hobbles off and move them off. So we're going to try that. If we've gone through our sacking out procedure properly, then hopefully this is going to be a step with not a lot of problems. We lead them off, we get them used to the saddle being tied on their back. And what I would normally do is I would saddle this horse, walk them around, tie them up as long as they're used to being tied and accustomed to standing for a period of time and let them stand there with the saddle on. And I might do this for three or four days before I ever turn them loose. The whole object of this part of the training process is to not let them get scared or have a big problem during the saddling process. Once I've gone through this procedure, I'm gonna go back to my lunging. And now we're gonna let her move around here with the saddle on. Okay, very good. Now we're ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is to start getting this horse bitted up, let them learn to carry a bit, and start getting them supple in the face. <laughs> 